Hey everybody, your man Scotty G here. A little bit something different today. Um, recently I was in South Carolina and I went to a distillery that my son had turned me on to. They went to visit one time. And it's called the 1233 Distillery. And it's in a small town called Little River, South Carolina. And if you head down there, you can sign up for one of their little VIP tours. And you get a tour of, the, of their distillery and the process they use and where they store stuff. And um, I am definitely more of a beer guy than a whiskey guy. However, they made this special development called Project Y. And uh, it took them about three and a half or four years. Um, and they had just opened these a little bit before uh, we showed up. And don't you know, this is a single malt whiskey made from yingling. So I know that sounds crazy, but if they think about it, you know, you use barley and malt and all kinds of other good fun stuff. Um, and so here it says it was, you know, after they distilled it, they aged it for over three years in a combination of both American and French oak barrels for this balance of vanilla, caramel, and spice and tobacco. Um, and so what he told me is if you remember in uh, uh, 2020 when COVID was going on, all of the restaurants and all of the different bars down there had barrels and barrels of yingling and people weren't allowed to show up in the town. So what they decided to do um, instead of sending it back is the uh, guy was pretty intelligent at uh, 1233. He bought, I think he bought 2,000 gallons um, so that he could make himself 400 gallons of if I remember, yeah, 400 gallons of this single malt whiskey. So I tried some when I was down there. Sorry for the sun, people. I had to step outside because there's a basketball game going on. I'll edit that. So I had this stuff. And again, I'm not a whiskey guy. But it really tasted nice. So let me get into taking this plastic off, which as usual, sometimes I'm not as ambidextrous as I should be. Here it goes. So again, if you can see, it's called Project Y. And it's from the distillery. And you can see, they say how they've made it. Pretty simple, pretty small and simple process, but it's complicated. Simple because of the equipment. Um, again, we tried some. Not always my favorite beverage of choice. So, I'm going to open this puppy up. You probably didn't hear it. I'm not sure if you can really smell that. Can you? Mmm, it smells very vanilla-y. I suppose I should do this so you could see what I'm doing. Mmm, look at how nice and dark and caramely that is. And for those of you that can't see, That's what it looks like. And I use my, uh, from the top, you can almost see through because I like to use the clear ice that I make, which is really nice. People, cheers. Mmm. So for whiskey, that's very smooth. And you can definitely taste the vanilla. A little smoky, not too bad. Hmm. I learned that exhale from uh, when they were giving us the tasting tour. If you blow out, you can really get a different flavor. But you can also, maybe you can't, you can see the streaks. I tell you what, people, if you had the chance to get down to South Carolina, uh, Again, 30 miles north of Myrtle Beach. And it's called the 1233 Distri Distillery because that happens to be December of 1933 when they repealed Prohibition. That's how they came up with their name. Uh, so, that is so dark. So dark and caramely. Oops. That was bad. That's so dark and caramely. It is going to go great with something out of this pack.
So, I'm going to have a Romeo and Juliet. And I'm going to have this. And I'm going to read this. And I'm going to sit outside and enjoy the 75 degree weather and the trees and the birds and nature. You have a great day, peeps.